And welcome back to Open Your Eyes. We are now moving into our third segment for the morning. And this one is definitely oh, a good one. Healing Touch D Spa Massage at Home Session. So husbands and wives, check this out. We've got um, Eva McFarlane. She's a manager and owner of Healing Touch Spa D Spa. Manuel Maradia, who is a massage therapist of Healing Touch D Spa. And there's a model in there as well. And that's none other than Ariza McFarlane. Guys, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, Marlene. How are you today? We're here. I am We're jealous of good. your model. That's I know, what right? I am. <laughs> I am wishing I was are. the one there who was uh, <laughs> preparing for the demo. We know that spas, let's be clear, spas are not um, allowed to open as yet. And that's actually what's prompting our conversation this morning. Um, Eva, tell us a bit about how things have been going. Well, um, Marlene, as you know, since the lockdown, March 23rd, we've been closed since then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've been able to open. So basically, we are just at home enjoying the time off mm -hmm. and at the same time praying for things to get normal again. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure you miss your clients and, you know, it's difficult for businesses to, to be closed for such a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's hard, but um, we are positive that hopefully things should change, you know, since we are free of um, COVID and awaiting probably they open the local tourism and then we'll be able to open. Yeah, you know, something tells me that's not too far along. So I've, while we're in uh, this situation here and we might, we feel that spas might reopen sometime soon. The importance of a massage. How important is it to get a massage? Well, um, John, it's very important because massage helps um, relieve stress and um, it helps you to maintain balance and, and stay healthy. Mm. And um, especially with, with having COVID, getting a massage regularly also helps uh, boost your immune system. Yeah. What about your stress level? Does it reduce it or? Yes, it does. It does help with your stress level because especially at this time that um, people are worried about everything that you could think about. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I know there's no money to get a massage. That's, that's why we're here today to um, show our audience that even though we don't have money, we are jobless, but there's no reason why we cannot get some pampering at home. Yeah, yeah. and you're going to teach us how, because a massage is not just pinching a shoulder, and it's not just no. rubbing oil on someone. <laughs> but if I, no. <laughs> you know, it's always funny, because a masseuse can really tell a lot about you by just kind of starting off with a touch, because we carry so much stress in our body. I mean, yeah, like... I think yeah. after a while you learn to detect it. Like when my neck starts to disappear because the tension <laughs> rises in your shoulder, you know, okay, you got yeah. to relax a yeah. bit. Um, talk, ta yeah. talk to us about some of the areas that we commonly carry or stress. Well, definitely um, with experience, of course, getting a professional massage, um, the therapist knows where you carry all the tensions the moment they touch your body. Yeah. But um, stress is something that we carry a lot um, in our neck, you know, shoulders, back, um, and it has to do, depends the kind of work you do basically. Mm -hmm. it's, um, like people who work a lot on computers constantly, you know, hunch over, they get a lot of tension in their necks and, and, and shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, people who exercise or do sports um, also get a lot of tension in your legs, arms. So massage is good um, for everyone. Yeah. Overall. Yeah. Yeah. Men and women. Men and women and kids too. <laughs> because even though people don't pay attention to children, but they also carry a lot of stress. That's true. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what's your clientele been like? Do you get uh, men as well? Um, yes, uh, because our business, Marlene, we are open 20 years. We are the first found talker. And um, 
most of our clientele, it's tourism. And that's why it affects us so much. If we don't have any tourists, we have no business. Yeah. Um, and the few locals and Belizeans we have, well, it's not enough to go around. So, um, yeah, we're closed down totally. Well, we, are, we appreciate at least that you're going to be giving us some at-home tips. Um, and it will only give people a tease as to why they need to go to the professionals afterwards. Yes, uh, we want to start off, Marlene. Um, we are go going to show, give them three different tips. Okay. The first one will be how to do a facial at home. Okay. Mm. And, and then the second will be giving them a back massage. Okay. We choose to do a back massage since that's where you have all your nerve endings and that's where you get all your relaxation yeah okay first. and then um after that we will show you how to do some reiki mm. and we'll explain that as we go along yeah right. yeah let's start off okay. then so we are all first right. starting with the facial yes all right so manuel get in your position let's show <laughs> our audience uh -huh. and let me go let me switch over to to manuel okay i know let's see you have okay. your own studio there. We're going to do a camera switch. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Well, right now we're still seeing you. Now All we're right. going over. All right. There we go. Hi, Hi Manuel. Hi, Manuel. Hi, Arisa. <laughs> she, I think she's not hearing you. That's fine. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. So can you see Manuel? Yes, yeah, we, we can. can. see both of them. Talk us through it. All right, so uh, getting a facial at home, um, it's not difficult. And you could use ingredients that you have right in your home. All right. So uh, I'm sure everybody at home, whether it's male or female, they have their favorite face cleanser. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have one, there's a baby at home. You must have Baby Johnson shampoo, right? Okay. That is very mild. So there's no reason to go out there and spend money to get a facial. Um, so you would start off cleansing the face. Put like, you know, a little bit of your favorite cleanser in your hands or baby shampoo. And you start cleansing the face using circular motion like what Manuel is doing. And... Um, then after cleansing the face, well, you're at home, so you would be able to wash it up, but we would just wipe it up here with a towel. And then also you would need to um, exfoliate mm -hmm. um, to take out all the dead skins, all impurities, and mm -hmm. you have that ingredient at, at home too. So if you have some brown sugar, yeah, put some brown sugar in a little bowl, you could add if you have olive oil, if you don't have, you could always improvise and make this rather than doing three step two. You could use that exfoliate and cleanse at the same time. Yeah. So first you clean and then right. you exfoliate. But we, right. I, what I notice is Manuel is being very gentle. So it's not like, you know, trying to dig the sugar into your face. It's well, what he's doing right now, it's the cleansing. So okay. we are not using baby shampoo, but we are using the cleanser that we use at the spa, but at home, like I said, you could use the baby shampoo or um, or your favorite mild cleanser that you use for your face. Yeah. So what he's doing right now, he cleans and he's cleaning up all um, the soap he used to cleanse the face. Yeah. And then he would follow by exfoliating with um, some brown sugar and we add some olive oil in it. Of course, some most people, some people buy um, spa products, and if you have at home anything like lavender, you could drop a little, a few little drops in it to get that aroma. But if you don't yeah. have it, just do the the olive oil with the um, brown sugar, and the procedure will be the same like what Manuel is about to do now. Apply on the face. Start scrubbing again, circular motion, try to get all the areas like, you know, the cheeks, the chin, forehead. And what that scrub is doing, it helps to take off 
are the impurities, um, dead cells, um, if you have like black heads, white heads. Yeah. So, um, and you scrub very gently because it depends, everyone has different type of sensitivity when it comes to their face as that's the most sensitive part of your yeah. your body and um so those are ingredients that you have at home you scrub gently for a minute or two then you rinse off the the scrub mm -hmm. which, which manuel will do right now and um after we would use a, a facial mask that um will moisturize your face and it, it, it's an ingredient that i'm guessing i'm guessing everybody has honey at honey, home right i was gonna say yeah great honey. moisturizer right and, and not only that the honey um it's also uh, anti-aging mm -hmm. um again it removes impurities if you have any skin problems um honey will help with um, clearing that up. So um, Manuel will clean up the scrub for now mm -hmm. and then apply the the honey um, which you could leave on for 15 minutes or so um, and then remove it and that's how you have a facial but of course I'm talking faster than he's going. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I tell yeah, you what, I, I think one of the things one of the things that strikes goal for me uh, with um, with Healing Touch Day Spa is we could see Manuel, and of course he is professionally dressed. He is wearing his protective devices, so everybody could see that. Uh, then again, the atmosphere within the spa is very nice. It's a very clean uh, environment. So folks should look out for it uh, when the when it's said that spas could be reopened, right? Yes, um, well definitely, John, um, this is the way how we normally work. So like with, with COVID, mm -hmm. um, I think the only change changes we will have to do is probably like um, making sure everyone sanitized before coming into yeah. the spa. Yeah. But the therapists, they have always dressed professionally using their masks yeah. and, and gloves. So with that part, we won't, we won't have too much challenge. All right. Yeah, so um, what I wanted to say also about the facial, it's very important because it, it, uh, it's anti-aging, it, it, it gives you great skin, um, it helps you to reduce stress also, especially for we ladies who um, always get psychologically distressed when we have a pimple comes out on our face or a spot or something, <laughs> you know. So um, it's very nice to have a facial um at least every three weeks or a month because that's how long it takes to regenerate um the skin um and what you're what you're showing us is is the at home version and you yes. know i love that you're talking about things that we can have usually i mean you're a spa so you have spa products that you use right. But for the rest of us, we don't necessarily invest in, in specialized uh, facial okay, products. Yeah. So to recap, you said just a regular gentle face wash to start. Um, right. And if you don't have special face wash, then you could just use uh, the baby uh, body wash. Yes, the baby Johnson shampoo. Yeah. That's gentle for baby, so it's gentle for your for face. Skin, you and know. then... Right if we then the exfoliation step it's just brown sugar and olive oil that you mix together to make right. a scrub and gently exfoliate the face and then right. the final step you said was so, to just I, I miss um let me this step that manuel is doing before the mask i missed that one mm -hmm. um i know at home no one has a towel cabin that, that like what we have here mm -hmm. but you could create that because what this what he's doing right now he's applying a hot towel on a riser face that will open up the pores. Mm. Um, so what we could do at home, I, I'm sure everyone has a microwave at home. Yeah. So um, the same um, towel that's the small um, face towels you have at home, mm -hmm. you could um, soak that in water. Make sure you wring it out. Uh, as dry as possible mm -hmm. 
you roll them and you put it inside your microwave for a minute mm -hmm. and you will get the same effect. Um, effect yeah and then you could apply like three towels on on the face mm -hmm. make sure that you don't cover the nose though you need <laughs> to have the nose so they could yeah. breathe and yeah. um and you know the eyes are very sensitive so before um he he applied two cold eye pads and you could use just common cold water okay like yeah. just just dump the, the eye pads in the water apply it on top of the eyes yeah. and um that will help you not for the hot towel to make you feel sensitive yeah okay. so you could use that you could go ahead and take up the towel manual so because we're going we're on air time so we yeah. can't show everything yeah. but um so I, that's why I, I don't want us to lose out on that back massage part right so so right. what other steps can we do at home all right so after doing that normally if you would be at the spa if you have any blackheads white yeah you, you do, do the extraction extraction but yeah. i don't recommend recommend to do that at home because that's the part where if you don't know what you're doing, you could yeah. bruise and, and so skip that part at home and then just apply the um, honey mm. as the mask. Okay. Like what Manuel is doing, you just will put as much honey as necessary to cover the whole face and then um, you would lie there and relax for 15 to 20 minutes. Mm. Oh, so and you, then you, you're gonna rub it on kind of as a as a thin thin layer, and then you're just yes. gonna leave it there for a bit. Yes, you leave it there 15 to 20 minutes. That depends how much time you have um, to to relax, right? Because sometimes you're a mom, you're at home, you're moving around, and yeah. you don't have much time. But 15 minutes, 20 minutes is good, and then you just wash it up, and wow. that's it. That's your home facial. facial. Okay. And and like I said, you could do that every three weeks. And honey is very good. I guarantee that will just make you look rejuvenated and have beautiful skin. I think you said one of the most important things, and and, and that's that this is a process you don't want to do every day, especially the exfoliation part, because that's right. too harsh right. for your skin. Mm -hmm. So every three weeks, you just find. Right. This uh, little 20 minutes for yourself, 20 to 30 minutes for yourself, and you can be able to uh, replenish your, your skin on your face. Yes. Lovely. All yes. right. So, so that's th it for home facial. All right. Okay. Of course, if, if you come to the spa, it will be a complete different experience. Yeah. But of course. I, yeah. I'm glad you said that. There, there are lots more steps that you would do, but. Um, yes. There are uh, things that require a professional to do it that you don't want to encourage people to do at home. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think yeah. the atmosphere, I think the atmosphere at that spa would really put the additional touch to it because it looks very cool. Ariza looks yeah. like she is sleeping, by the way. Yeah, and a part of that, you have all the smells, all the aromatherapy wow. rooms, and yeah. um, the room is cool, air conditioned. So, yeah. Definitely, then you would be hearing the, the spa music in the background. Yes. It's a complete different experience. Um, so what Manuel um, is doing there, because we don't want to be flipping Arisa over and over, um, whenever you're lying face up, that's when you could get a neck massage where, okay. where you have all the tension. So okay. what he's doing that, he put some a massage oil on his hand but if you don't have massage oil at home um you could use your favorite lotion all you need is something to to make it slide yeah, yeah. and then um i don't know if the camera could pick up what he's doing yeah we, we could see it right so he just applied oil and now he starts working on the neck yeah making sure that you don't um <clears throat> go into the bone and um, also, he would be working the, the across the shoulders to go go along. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, is she up? If she's what? <laughs> if she's up, because she looks like she's having a good nap. Yeah, <laughs> you know, 
the thing is, the moment you, you, you know, with all the ambience and all that and the therapist touch you, it's easy to relax and, um, and go into that, to, to that sleeping <laughs> mode. Yeah. And there's no judgment for snoring. No, we get that, we get that all the time. Really? Oh my God. <laughs> you could trundle and you and, <laughs> and it starts snoring. All right, now that's pushing it. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody will know. Okay. All right, so we moved into a head massage now. Yeah. Yeah, that is, that's rela um, massaging the neck. So, yeah. you know, and even uh, Marlene, when you get a neck massage after a facial, that also helps to relax, you know, relax the face, make it have that that glow mm. you know and and you look refreshed so all right man um he's doing the the neck so yeah. if you're at home that's how we massage the neck right now he's doing uh and he's so gentle massage. i like Temple. that yeah. yeah and you know on the camera it looks gentle but when you feel it it has the right pressure the right only, amount of pressure yeah, yeah. right if you notice when uh, where he's massaging the scalp, you don't massage the hair; it's the scalp itself. So you're moving it. Yeah. You're moving, you know, the scalp itself, where it relieves a lot of tension, especially when you have headaches. Um, that type of massage helps you even sleep well at night. Yeah. All so right. We, we so let's go... let's see if we can we can move forward to the uh, right. back massage so now, back massage. so people can try that at home. Yes. So um, what he's doing since he was massaging the neck, he's um, quickly cleaning up the, the funny mask yeah. Yeah. on a rice of face, and then um, yeah, she has the turnover. Yeah, she's gonna flip over, and then we get the good stuff now. So while, while he's doing that, where, where are you guys located? Because trust me, when things reopen, people will definitely want to go there. So where, what part of the island are you located at? Um, we are on Front Street. It has a name, but everybody knows it as, as Front Street. And it's Avenida Icaco. Okay. And that's right um, as you get off the San Pedro Express water taxi, you walk through that basketball court, you take a, a left. Mm -hmm. Three house down, you're right at the spa. Wow, can't miss it. You know, in Kitaka, we don't have numbers on the house. Everybody, <laughs> you know, the direction is Front yeah. Street or Avenida in Kitaka. <laughs> so you can't yeah. say number number three Front Street. No, we can't say number three Front Street. All <laughs> right, so now, um, Arise will be flipping over, and okay. we will start out with that back massage. All okay. right. Here you go. Yeah. All right, so again, to do a back massage, you need something to slide with. So um, if you don't have any massage oil at home, use your favorite lotion. Of course, the massage oil is better because it has ingredients that also help relax the muscles. So. Okay. But um, what Manuel is using here is a blend with lemongrass and peppermint. Wow. Mm. Smells yeah. good. Can imagine. Yes. When you come out of the spa, the, the spa, you really, really smell delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So what he's doing right now, applying um, the oil. Mm -hmm. So for those who are at home, make sure you apply the oil all over the back. And the important thing with this, because you don't have experience in doing a massage, just make sure that you don't massage the spine mm. yeah. you don't want to go into the spine so you're massaging just the the muscles beside the spine see like what manuel is doing and again it looks gentle he's... and he's he's doing a, a swedish technique because okay. um if you do a deep we won't show how to do a deep tissue because if you are doing it on your partner at home you don't want to hurt him you don't want to hurt them yeah, yeah. right but what Manuel is doing that would relax them. So talk to um, us about what we should feel and what we should aim for. So first off, you're not supposed to be massaging any areas with bones, especially the spine. Right, and between the, the rib cage, because remember the rib cage is 
So you could, when you massage her, like what Manuel is doing around the rib cage, mm -hmm. that's gentle. You don't want to use pressure there because you could hurt the person. Yeah. And that's and below the, the rib cage where the yeah. kidney, the kidneys are, you don't want to use pressure yeah. right there. But see how he's sliding. That's how you would want to do the massage. All right. Be careful not to go over any part of the spine. And while for us, because because I can tell you what we're seeing, it looks mm -hmm. like he's just rubbing his hands on her back, but there's right. actual pressure. Is he applying pressure from yes. the palm or from the pads of the fingers? Yeah. Where is the pressure no. coming from? The pressure comes from the palm because you don't want to use your fingers and get hurt. And and also you use your body weight when That's you right. want pressure. Okay. It's the, the, your body weight that um, gives the pressure. Because if you use your fingers, then then you could injure your hands. Yeah. All right. Um, and and the person that will be giving the massage at home, work with the. Of course, it comes with practice. The more you do it, the stronger your hands. Um. <laughs> but whatever, whatever. I love that little you, warning there that you're letting people know. Yes, your hands do get tired. <laughs> yes, it does. And then you know, um, whatever you do when when it comes to touch, it's relaxing. That's the first thing we experience at birth. So that's something that that relaxes every human being. Yeah. So it doesn't. Since you're doing it at home, it doesn't matter if you are using the right pressure as long as you're giving it with love yeah. and you're making sure that you're not going into the spine yeah um you and then you could ask the person how does the pressure feels what feels right yeah so this and is this up. is not payback time for not doing the dishes you got to be <laughs> gentle with your partner right <laughs> yes. oh, and gosh. then uh Probably Manuel could show them a little technique there, how to work around the shoulder blade, Manuel. Okay. Um, since time is going, and yeah. then we have one more little thing that we want to show them. So you could put the the arm behind the back gentle, and uh -huh. do it gentle. Don't, just don't grab the arm, and, <laughs> because you could hurt them. Yes. And then go around the shoulder blade, like what Manuel is doing. You have all that tension between the shoulder blade played um, and everything that he's doing there help with relaxing all your aches and pains that comes from your neck because everything is a, a referral pain yeah. and everything is connected so there you go man, That's I'm how so jealous just watching this I know man I yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah, you see, we're you coming see to Keycocker we're coming to yeah, Keycocker yeah. anytime you guys come on over yeah, so that's All right, what Eva, we're running out of time now. Yes. So do we want to do the recce or you want to finish up the uh, back massage? Well, it's up to you guys. Um, uh, well, he could continue showing. Um, okay, let's let's the do massage. the recce because I think we, we've talked a okay. bit about the technique. So right. let's start uh, off with the most important question and you can, you can explain it to us. What is right. recce? Okay, why Manuel flip her over and... and start um, showing you guys what is Reiki. Yeah. Reiki is a therapy that um, we, we often call hands on healing or palms, palm healing. Okay. What, um, and it's, a, it's, it's a technique where the, the practitioner works by placing his or her hands lightly over the patient body to facilitate the patient process of healing. Mm -hmm. The word itself, Reiki, um, it, it, it's come back to Japanese and Chinese, Chinese word called um, Rei as in spiritual or supernatural, okay. and Ki is the vital energy. Okay. So what Manuel is doing there, I mean at home you won't be able to do that because you don't have the stones. He's using um, Jade uh, jade stones, which is uh, which help with balancing, and you apply it on um, on the seven different chakra, and all those uh, jade stone has the Reiki symbol on it. Oh, okay. So, what um, your next question might be? 
how how does it work? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So um, during a Reiki session, the, the patient typically lies down oh. on on the table, um, like how a Risa is, and what Manuel is doing there with with the with the bow that's caused some therapy. He's just like harmonizing, making sure um, that he connects with that force, yeah. that energy force. Um, so then what he will be doing after, what he does with that sound therapy, he goes all around the body. Okay. And and you would have to experience it, Jan and Marlene. It puts you into that deep relaxation mode, you know, as it, Go, go along. Now, um, he will start out from the crown chakra mm -hmm. and place his hands like a couple, it would be like five minutes and depends where he is directed because you concentrate, you are like um, meditating through the whole session. Yeah. Mm. Is his hand uh, touching her head or is just uh, a okay. little off. So I'll tell you with that, in Reiki has some laws, like in other countries, if you would get um, a Reiki session in the U.S. in certain part, a certain state, mm -hmm. you might not be able to touch the body directly, just go above the energy points. Mm -hmm. But also, you could, you could touch. Okay. It depends how you are guided intuitively to move your hands over the body. Okay. So what he's doing, like healing the body, starting from the crown chakra, which is connected to the universe, to mm -hmm. spirit, to God, to whatever you want to call it. Above the forehead, that's the third eye. Yeah. He's moving the energy from there. Then you go to the throat chakra, the heart, the solar plexus, yeah. um, where the navel is, and the, the root chakra. So those are seven chakra, and that's what Reiki works with wow. all around the body. What do you feel as the patient um, getting the session? Mm. You would go into a deep relaxation. You would visualize like different colors. After the session, you would be able to discuss with your practitioner mm -hmm. what was your experience, and he or her would explain to you what your experience means. Is this better with uh, complete silence or with music? Yes, it, it has music. We have nice um, Reiki music and it has to be in silence, just you and the therapist. Wow. And then as you go along, that's how he would put his hand all over the body um, to balance. Um, how much time do we have, Marlene? We are almost <laughs> out. So. Okay, so all right, Marlene, that's, that's the idea behind Reiki healing. Okay. And the benefit yeah. of that is um, to aid in relaxation, it assists the body's natural healing process, develop emotional and mental and spiritual well-being. That's what right. Reiki does for you. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, and I want to be very clear, because I know, I, I know you're concerned. You don't want people to think that uh, um, this is what happens in the spa. What you are teaching us is at-home versions for people yes. to try on their own. These are right. usually... I longer processes that you spend with your clients when they're there. Right. And this is what you could do at home, Marlene. It's just, you won't have the stones, you won't have the sound therapy, yeah. but you could sit down in a quiet place, uh, breathe in, breathe out, inhale through your nose, yeah. mm. uh, exhale through your mouth, rub your hands together to cause friction, to warm it up, and then you start placing your hands. You could do it on yourself, putting your hands above your crown chakra, your third eye, your eyes, your throat, all the steps that I show, and that will help you to de-stress yourself. That's your me time, your time, your moment to relax yeah. and okay. meditate for five, ten minutes. Well, I feel I relaxed watching, I but am. I also feel green with envy. <laughs> I won't even <laughs> lie. <laughs> I've been sitting here stretching, imagining yeah, it's me. Yeah, she has me. been. She has been. <laughs> Um, they, it, it, it's such a great, you know, uh, people who are at home and they're feeling a bit overwhelmed 
Um, and you know, you, you say it can be uh, spouses, but of course you can do it to your child. Um, you can also maybe just have a good friend yeah. be able to, to work out uh, some of the muscles. So, or you and your best friends can get together and have facials over Zoom. Um, since we can't yeah. get together yet. No, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. But all of them are possible. We really appreciate you yeah, sharing thank you so much. Uh, this information with us. You, Manuel, and Arisa for having this early morning. Once again, Healing Touch Spa is uh, in Key Cocker. And when we are allowed to move around, we really hope that people go and are able to have this experience firsthand. Uh, thank you so much, Eva. Eva, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Marlene. Thanks for having us. And I hope that they could experience this at home. Yeah. All right. Thank you, too. <laughs> All right. All right. With